So guys, quick video. You remember this guy? You should. The Corona, not virus, tool sharpener, barrel rod striker. Well, I got something a little different for you today. So stick around and we'll have this taken care of. Okay, this right here, I use it to strike my ferro rod because it does an excellent job. This is actually a tool sharpener, garden shears and stuff like that. Well, a lot of people didn't know that you could actually sharpen a knife with it as well. Don't take much. Now, if you got a blade that's beyond help, that needs a lot of work, this might not be the way you want to start it. But once you get it honed in, fined up, whatever you want to call it, this is perfect to get that edge on it. Now it does take practice to, to be able to do that. Some people can do this in a matter of seconds and you shave with a knife. I'm learning how to use these as a knife sharpener. So I can't do it like that. But we're getting there. Now, yes, this is just a cheap Walmart gift set knife, but it's for demonstration purposes only. Now, it's not what the video is about. It don't take up a lot of space. It doesn't. This is a little heavy, but this is this is the big boy. This is the biscuits and gravy of fire steel right here. Now, I have something that is what I like to call the same thing only different. That's what I like to call it. That's just me. Uh, I'm sorry I'm messing with my phone here because I, I got to get the name of this right. I think I know what the name of this thing is, but I want to be sure. Okay. All right, what we have is called the Sharpens Best Sharp and Spark. It's the same as this. That, that's what this right here is. It's a sharpener. But you also got the V sharpener right here in case you want to, you know, if you got a knife that needs a little bit more work, you can, you know, angle that blade to the best that you can. A lot of people don't like these, but I mean, it does, it helps if you've got a knife that really needs a little bit of work. A cheap knife, you know, anyway. But this is, this, this little thing is pretty cool. I mean, just a couple of more pressure, of course, just like any other sharpener. The more pressure you put on it, the more steel it's gonna take off to sharpen your knife, you know, as with any sharpener. I'm still learning how to use this. You gotta get the right angle and all that stuff. I mean, just a few swipes already, and we're we're close to shaving. I don't need to shave right now, so I'm good. Shaved my legs last night, and uh, this is perfect for your pack. You, you need you need a sharpener in your bag anyway. Okay, so you're asking, what's that got to do with my fire still? If you were paying attention, which I know you were, you heard me say sharpen spark. There's a sharpen. I'll oh, check it out. Of course, you got your bottle opener. Who doesn't need that? Check this out. It's got a built-in ferro rod. And you can spark it. 
How cool is that? How cool is that? Got a key ring on there. Clip it on your pack, on your belt, keychain. Actually, this one I keep in my truck. I just got it actually, but I'm gonna be keeping it in my truck. Price-wise, uh, this was a little bit more than this. But I think overall this is worth it. Uh, pick this up on Amazon. With you know, it didn't offer free shipping on it, so I ended up paying right at about thirty dollars for this. More than I really wanted to spend, but I watched a YouTube video and it caught my eye and caught my imagination. So I'm like, you know what? My curiosity was running wild, so I got one. Sharp and Spark by Sharpens Best. Not bad. Not bad. Like I said, keep it in your pack. Keep it in your truck, in your box, in your house. They have a couple of different models to choose from. Check out their website. Sharpensbest.com, I believe, is their website. They got some tutorial videos. You can even check them out on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, that does an excellent, excellent job. Yeah, we're partially shaved anyway. I'm going to keep working with it, learn how to use it a little bit better. The guy that does the demonstration, he takes a dull knife and, you know, 30, 40 seconds he's shaving, you know, you cut cutting paper like it ain't nothing. But... This will still be in my primary, my bug out bag. This this is go, goes in my bug out bag. Or, well, I have two of them. So one will be in my bug out bag. One will be in my, just my regular overnight bag. And like I said, this one will be in my truck. Uh, I'm going to wait till the price comes down some on this. And I'll probably pick up another one of these. But, overall, not a bad little product. So, check them out. If you want to, I'm not trying to pressure anybody. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, all that good stuff. Like, subscribe. Subscribers are coming up, guys. I appreciate every one of y'all. Be safe. God bless. Get outside.